I don't know if you know this, at first she tried going on tour with Rick Springfield and it didn't work out. They do a six hour acoustic Jesse's girl that I understand really sucks. Anyway, um, he went out with Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band and uh, well anyway, last night, our announcer here, Joel Goddard, who you've probably seen on the show uh, here and there, Joel Goddard and I decided to go out and visit Max on tour. Yeah, we wanted to go out and visit Max on tour. And we even, here's the best part, we even got to see Max play with Bruce and the E Street Band, and uh, I, we took a camera, and we got some photos, and this morning, I dropped off my little uh, instant camera at the photo shack, and uh, three hours later, as promised, they sent these photos up, and I thought, you know, I could just enjoy these photos myself in the privacy of my own home, but why not share them with all my fans and all you people right now? Wouldn't you like to see the photos? Or... Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. I got them right here. Great. All right, let's take a look at these Visiting Max on Tour photos. There you go. Oh. These came out great. Uh, the night started when uh, Joel and I arrived at the stadium pretty early. <laughs> there we are in a very natural pose. Uh, <laughs> we, were, uh, we were really pumped up about the show. <laughs> um, that's us pumped up right there. We, uh, we went to meet Max at the gate, but he was a little late. Yeah. By the way, Joel and I are silent film stars. Uh, <laughs> I suggested that we talk a little bit. <laughs> Jeez. Joel said that was a great idea. Then there was 10 minutes of awkward silence. <laughs> Finally, I said, isn't it great that we're going to see the boss? And Joel said, Conan, in my book, you'll always be the boss. I called Joel a kiss ass and fired him. Joel begged for his job back. So I made him lick my shoe. <laughs> then I made Joel do a crazy monkey dance. <laughs> then we agreed he could come back if he took a huge pay cut. <laughs> Hesse had a happy ending. Uh, finally, Max showed up. And he gave us our tickets. Joel and I were thrilled that they were front row seats. And we immediately scalped them. <laughs> Max then called us both ungrateful bastards. So I fired Max. Max said, I don't care, I've got this other job. And I said, what about when the Springsteen tour is over? And Max begged for his job back. I said, okay, but only if you give us two more tickets. Joel yelled, that's not fair, I had to do a crazy monkey dance. So I made Joel do a crazy monkey dance again. That's my brand of justice. Then Max brought us backstage to his cool rock star dressing room. <laughs> Max wanted to impress us, so he demanded some chilled champagne and sushi immediately. 45 minutes later, we got warm Valentine ale and a half-eaten bag of Cheetos. <laughs> Joel and I laughed at Max and called him a loser. <laughs> then we both fought for the Cheetos. <laughs> then the three of us chugged all the Valentines. <laughs> we were feeling pretty good. <laughs> then I said, let's trash this place like real rock stars do. <laughs> yeah. That's great. I, that, my, the fact that I'm doing that with my eye really bothers me right now. <laughs> That is not touched up. Anyway, we decided to trash the place like real rock stars do. So Max kicked in the TV. I set the refrigerator on fire and howled like a werewolf. And Joel ripped his own heart out. I said, I said, also this is not retouched. I said, Joel, you're supposed to trash the room, not your own body. <laughs> but Joel didn't have enough blood in his brain to respond. <laughs> oh, God.
God. All right. To revive him, I quickly shoved his heart back in. And Joel screamed, come back, Grandma. Joel then explained that he'd been clinically dead for a few seconds and he'd seen his grandmother in heaven. I said, wow, what's heaven like, Joel? Joel said, it's beautiful. There's fire and screaming and God stabs everyone with his pitchfork. Grandma must love it. Max and I just looked at each other uncomfortably. Just then, Bruce came backstage. Thanks for applauding an obviously retouched photo. Uh, I'm sorry, but look at that. What the hell are you thinking? Yay, it's him. Oh. Joel and I were pretty starstruck to see actual Bruce Springsteen. Okay, some of you are catching on now. To show Bruce how long I'd been a fan, I dressed up like he did 20 years ago. Joel said he'd been a fan even longer and dressed up like Bruce did 50 years ago. And Bruce kept staring straight ahead. Bruce asked Max if we were friends of his. Max reluctantly admitted that yes, we were. So Bruce fired Max without even the courtesy of looking at him. <laughs> Max begged for his job back. So Bruce made Joel do a crazy monkey dance. <laughs> Bruce then rehired Max and said the concert would start in five minutes. So Joel and I hurried to our seats. <laughs> the lights then went out and we went crazy for Bruce. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was just Bruce's opening act, Tone Loke. Oh. And that actually is Tone Loke. Uh, I screamed, get the hell off the stage. But Joel was totally into it. Joel said, I'd let Tone Loke do the wild thing on my funky cold Medina anytime. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. Finally, Bruce and the band came out. The crowd started chanting, Bruce. Joel thought they were booing his hero, Bruce Springsteen. So he madly attacked the crowd. I said, Joel, you idiot. They're not booing, they're saying Bruce. But it turned out they actually were booing because Geraldo had climbed on stage. When the band started playing again, I yelled out a request for Hungry Heart. And Jell yelled, Joel and Jell, and Joel yelled out a request for Hungry Like the Wolf. I said, Joel, you jackass, that's a Duran Duran song. But Bruce liked the idea and said the rest of the show would be all Duran Duran songs. So the whole crowd left except for me and Joel. Then Bruce said he wanted to pull someone on stage to dance with him. He stayed like that most of the show. Joel and I both wanted to dance. Sadly for me, Bruce picked Joel. And then, damn, that looks bad. And then, and then they danced for me. I was really, really jealous. But then I lucked out because Geraldo pulled me on stage. And it was the best concert ever. Man. Those are good times. All right, everybody, we're gonna take a little break. When we come back, Dan Aykroyd's here. Stick around, we'll see you.